evening guys we're uh, in the process of brining some suckers here and uh, we got some 10 gallon jugs here we got uh, just a little bit over a cup of brown sugar in each one and we're putting a liter of dole pineapple juice in each one of these containers we'll mix these up real good we're also putting one cup of, uh, what do you got there, Butch? Tender, quick seasoning, salt. salt. In each one of those containers. And here goes the other one. Now we're adding some garlic powder. Um, how much are you putting in there, there, Butch? Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of uh, garlic powder in each one of the 10 gallon containers. But he's been doing this for so many years, he just pretty much does it by eye. Yep. Mm. We'll mix her all up in the end. Actually, you can grab that spatula and start stirring. Yep. We'll stir this up. And now we're adding some water. Just want to dissolve all, all the seasoning. Yep, you want to make sure you smash all the chunks up. Mixing and mixing, that's all we do here. We do it well. Now we do another two, two, one teaspoon of uh, onion powder. Table. Tablespoon, sorry. Table. Table teaspoon spoon. is only when you got a little batch. Right. So one tablespoon of each of onion powder. And that is it for seasoning. No. Johnny seasoning. And then uh, last of all we do a tablespoon of Johnny's seasoning. You can find if you can find it. Usually it's by the meat department and not in your seasoning aisle. That's where you usually find it. Depending on what store you, you go to. That's the hardest seasoning to find of, of all of them. Yeah, because I bought the last two containers that I seen here and I told them. And then, is, is that it for then seasonings? Yep. Alright, then after this, you mix this up real good. And, uh, I'll, I'll be back for the next step. 
soon as we get done uh, smashing all this uh, garlic salt and everything from all from all the chunks. All right, we're back in action here. Um, since uh, the last video, um, we did add about another about three gallons of water total in each container after we, uh, you know, we got most of the chunks out. There's still a couple floating, but not bad. Um, like, like they say, fresher the spices, the yep. less chunks you're gonna have in your in your brine. But uh, it is what it is. Now we're just adding all the suckers as we go here, and um, pretty much self-explanatory. Can, Boy, can these you are nice them? blacks. Yep, nice, yeah. nice big black suckers. Uh, thank you to uh, to my brother. Oh, look at that! Very, very nice oh, suckers these here. Are, these, are, these are gonna these be are, tasting these good. These are the dandies here. These are the dandies. Yeah, the blacks are the best, I think. Yep. That you want to use mostly black it's, blacks. It's, they're they're less bonier. Uh, you they're, won't have as much bones. It don't matter. But they're better tasting. Yeah, Other than that. We'll continue when we go to the next step. We're all, all complete here, guys. Um, got all the suckers in the brine here. And now it is sit here for two days in refrigeration. And uh, cover them up, throw them in the refrigerator, and to be continued when we start smoking. Process before we put yeah, the fish on. Yeah. Um, we uh, coat the, the racks with oil so cooking then the fish oil. cooking oil cooking oil that is yeah <laughs> cooking oil mm. so then the fish won't stick to the racks when we take them off it'll be just nice and easy it ain't yeah. gonna stick because the uh, sugar yeah because of the sugar from the brown sugar will make them stick otherwise yeah. on the racks yeah. other than that to be continued here it is today guys and we're in the process of uh gonna be putting them on the racks here um, what's gonna happen is we got the 10 gallon plastic jugs we're gonna take the suckers out of here just like this and grab one like this I'm gonna dunk them into water here in lukewarm water and then we're, we're gonna just start putting them on the racks here we're smoking just like that and we're gonna continue this process until we're all done here for the day or i should say until they're all done and put on all the racks so and then once we get them all on the racks we're gonna throw some brown sugar on them and we'll call her good in continuation when i get back and the next step guys here we got um a little brown sugar um in water here and we're just basting them with uh, brown sugar here with a little bit of water, you know, and uh, before they go into the smoker, just get them all basted up here. Yeah, we can we can get more on there. Yep, we'll just cut some halvies up so we can get more on there. Other than that, this is what we're doing. Get them nice and juicy. I'm gonna come out there nice and sweet too. Unless you like the salt, then don't put it on. Yep. Unless you like salt, salty fish, then don't put this on. Like Bushy says. You can do either or. Yep. Some people like all that salt, I don't care for it. I like them a little sweeter and you'll be able to taste them. Yeah, Other than that, you won't really to be know. continued. We're getting the the old wood going here, get some coals in there, and we're gonna be wheeling her in here shortly. Into the old smoker. Got some of the fish in there right now, waiting to be smoked. And putting the last rack in here right now for round one. So yeah, we're gonna have to we'll have uh to be continued. Two more racks, yeah. two more racks at least. Forty-eight yeah. fish so far. Smoked in complete and finished. Okay, there you go smoke black sucker 
complete and ready to enjoy. I will say watch out for some very fine Y bones along in here. Some of your best meats under your rib bones and then some of this is bone free up here as well. But watch out for the very fine, fine Y bones. But other than that, they are absolutely excellent fish when you get them out of cold water. So hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and we will see you next time.